Today I'm going to introduce you to an instrument you may not have come across before whilst browsing in the music shops. Now this handy little device is known as a banjulele, aptly titled because as you may imagine is a cross between a banjo and you've guessed it, a ukulele. See, it's mostly made of wood with steel strings, four regular and one open, just like a banjo. Yet its handy size makes it fit in more with the easy to grab and play versatility of, say, a traditional Hawaiian ukulele. This made it popular amongst the early satanic American settlers of whom needed quick escape and easy retreat from Quakers, Puritans, Catholics and Methodists, meaning the tiny bite-sized advantage of the banjulele granted easy access to pockets within the robes or could easily be contained within the breeches without disrupting the cock and also making it easy to still run when the witchfinders were ascending towards the covens. The banjulele also served as a great tool for sacrificial slaughter to the High Lord Satan, as it was simple to apply a sharp blade to the underside of the body. One of two easy whacks would see the victim dead rather swiftly. Perhaps the grooviest thing is it all came with a rather splendid supply of music to round off the sacrifice and start off the orgy provided the cat behind the plane had mojo and knew his jive. So, now you know the history of the banjulele, let's play something on the little devil. Please bear with me and we'll see if I can muster up a vibe. My old man's a creature 